down, bend to the bottom. Want us to be famous, but it smells so rotten. These the same folks that made them pick that cotton. Eternal life now, that's what's popping. Can't nobody stop, got an ancient the days when I'm flowing in this rock. Ain't nobody afraid, yo. I'm foretold like a prophecy. Haters just can't stop watching me, huh? I like the bass lines, the kind you play live. See, I'm rocking on the stage, nope, not the FaceTime. Walk and work with the real lines. More on them, cause we living in these end times. Old school with it, nope, never fit it. Blazing trails doing well, yeah, the queen gifted. For all the hell I've been through in the many places. Still give the most high hits praises. And that's not cliche when I've turned away riches and fame. And proud to wear his name. Rooftops, yep, I will proclaim. This lady right here, not a shame. Me and my sis handpicked with these flames. Tribe up, stay lit, get away from the fake and nonsense. Ain't spitting what they claim. We real lions. Oh. <laughs> that, that was sis's moment. <laughs> Girl, you too much. <laughs> and ain't that what we talking about? Yes. <laughs> too much. Too much. Too much. Woo! As you can see, we are a music group. My name our- is Hadassah Quino. And my name is Cameron Joy. And, and we, we are Open Writers. writers. Welcome to our midweek uplift, y'all. Yes, yes. Yes, we we wanted to kick it off just with something different. That was fire. Thank you. Flames, flames, flames. So, um, too much. That's too much, man. That's that's crazy. (laughs) And that's part three of... uh, what we talking about this week. We hope you guys are doing well. Um, mm-hmm. We're going to be kind of finishing up the, the series. It was a three-part series. Right. We started out by talking about uh, trust and just shedding some light on that. And then the second thing we talked about was training. And this week, we're talking about too much. Mm, when people are too much, when sometimes you got to just much. let him go. It's so true because... Even if you want to hold on to some people, they're just not good for your life. And um, it's a hard reality, but it's real and it's it's helpful and mm. it's encouraging when you take that step to just say, you know what? This person is not good for my life. Right. That doesn't mean we don't have any flaws. It's just sometimes Certain people just are not good for our lives, and it's all good. We have to just continue to press forward, move forward, and know when somebody is too much. Mm, That's so true. Yeah, so that's what we're here talking about today. Um, You know, we hope that you enjoyed the freestyle. Uh, Well, really not a freestyle, but I'm just kind of practicing Mm -hmm. some lyrics. We trying to, you know, you know how we do. Got to keep it sharp. But yes. we're gonna be start. We're gonna start doing that a, a, a lot more. Just oh yeah. To, you know, encourage you guys through song and through it, flow. Exactly. Let you and guys it, hear some stuff new. Yes. And if you like that flow and you want more, you know, no amazing music like that, go to openwriters7.com and get down in them comments. Exactly. Get down in them comments <laughs> and, <laughs> and say let no, us know. No. Right. 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 Yeah. So we um. You know, we have a lot of encouraging, inspiring music, just like you heard on that right. site. So, and we know this is a hard time in the world too. So we just yeah. want to throw that out there. All right, well, let's hop into it, man. We hope everybody's doing well. Um, we wanted to actually define what too much was. And if you haven't um, heard the first part, part one and part two, please go back so that you right. know kind of what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, Because we're really talking about people. Exactly. And when people, uh, you know, people you can trust, people you can't trust. Like Mm -hmm. Sis talked about, the second part last week was training people. Training, yeah. And how to kind of do that if you have to go there. Yeah. How you, you know, different ways on, you know, how we can deal with people. Because, you know, everybody has different personalities. Right. um, Certain people only understand certain language, you know, just calmly saying something. Other people, you can tell they're not used to that particular language, so you kind of have to do something a little different. But the Most High will, and His Ruach will always give us a way to, always show us, you know, how to train. That's right. You know, who we can trust. And also, 
when people are too much. Now, you guys know, I just want to say this real quick. We talk a lot about looking inside. So I just want to say that off top. We look inside constantly. So this isn't a bash on, on anybody in particular, but the Most High has given us this series to help help our people out there because we have a lot of experience in this stuff. So And it does help us because it's a reminder. Yes. It keeps us fresh because, you know, when you're real sweet, nice, and oh. this, that, and the, you know, sometimes you can forget that you have to keep your guards up. Yes. Keep that discernment up high. Guard your heart with yeah. all diligence. Yeah. Sometimes you can kind of forget because exactly. you just assume, you know, that people ain't mean or, you know, but it's a different world. Mm -hmm. So this helps us as we're helping you, this helps us. All right. So the first thing that we have to talk about is gossipy. People who are gossipy, that's too much. That is too much. Because if they gossip into you about somebody else, then more than likely at some point, eventually they'll be talking to somebody else about you. And you have to really evaluate, like, do I really want somebody like that in my life to run the risk of them going back and talking about me, you know, when I'm not even like that? So that person is not trustworthy. I mean, that's just a sign. Another thing about gossipy people, um, and we've all been guilty of it at some point in our lives, but the goal is not to be a gossip because it hurts people. And most gossips don't really care if they hurt someone else or tarnish an image of somebody else. They're usually doing it because they want the attention. Mm -hmm. And by bringing up something or, ooh, girl, this happened and this was Mm -hmm. juicy and blah, 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 (laughs) did you hear? They get attention. It's so true. But that's a real sad form of attention because there Mm -hmm. lies a lot of insecurity when you deal with people who are constantly talking about other people's business. So just be careful. Yeah, too it's much. True. Right. And and you got to also ask yourself, do you want that kind of activity from somebody else to pass in your life? Mm. You know, I mean, that's just a good question to ask yourself, you know. So we know personally, we do not deal with people like that. We just don't. We don't have a tolerance for it. And um, just as, you know, our people, we've already been through so much. Um, we've been through so much already. It's like, we don't need that additional girl or, you know, yeah, man. Cause th- it's like, we don't need that. We've already been through enough, man. We're trying to stay resilient and stay strong in this crazy world, right? Exactly. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, that's good. Uh, the second person that's just too much and uh, are chameleons. Wow. And those are people who basically wear many masks depending Mm. on the situation. They put on a mask for this person. They put on a mask for that situation. They put on a mask. So really, you never know who you're really dealing with Mm. because you'll never know who they are. Right. Because they're good at changing faces. And Mm. it really is exhausting for them, but they do it because they have, again, a lot of insecurities. Mm. If you listen to our music, y'all, man, Mm. especially on Extraordinary, we talk about being ourselves. Exactly. Right? Loving who you are. That don't matter if you're weird, if people think you're weird, if you do weird Mm. stuff, if you're different, if you like doing different things, it's okay. It is better to be you originally and authentic than to try to put on different masks to please other people. It's so true, because the thing is, it actually ties into what we just got through talking about, the gossip. People are gonna say something anyway, Mm -hmm. no matter how many masks you wear, but- It's so true. But one thing, you know, that we have come to, to learn over time is people, when we are authentic, like you're saying, sis, people will respect you for who you are. That's right. Now, not the they whole may world. Not, they may, but they may not like you, but they'll still respect you because why? Because they know that you're going to be the same way. You're going to be who you are. Um, you're you're comfortable with yourself. You're confident in yourself, mm-hmm. and you're just doing the best that you can. And when we're real and authentic, then we attract other real and authentic people. So I just want to shout out, um, you know, there's quite a few people that listen to us that 
have just those same qualities. Genuine and I praise spirits. y'all. Yes. Mm-hmm. They just want the real. They want um they want the genuine. Mm-hmm. They know what's going on. Right. They know the world is hard, but mm-hmm. they don't want us to wear many masks. Exactly. You know, and it's not just we don't do this just for the people, but we are just who we are. So uh, we praise y'all for that. So you got to ask yourself, do I want to be around somebody who wears different masks? Because what if another mask comes out? You thought they were one way, but if they're wearing all these masks, then mm-hmm. another one might come out <laughs> that you might not like. So you're taking a risk. <laughs> and we ain't talk about, you know, against the plague from heaven. Oh, yeah. The masks. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, not those masks. <laughs> We're talking about that. different... Yeah, let's clarify that real quick. We're talking about different faces... Right. ...that people wear. Exactly. Um, at different times with different people in different environments. Mm-hmm. Um, that's really what we're talking about. So, um, the next one we want to talk about is... Number three. Number three is fakers. Mm, too much. Ooh, that now this is this is kind of a a hard one because mm. you can't always detect that. Mm. Well, um, mm-hmm. you know, but a lot of us, you know, are awake. So you know, we just have to ask y'all to show us, you know, and ask them to reveal is there anything in us too. Like I said, we. All of this is an inside reflection first, but... I would just have to say that growing up with my brothers, it was like, we're so real. Mm. Our family is so real. Yeah. My mother is, we're, our whole family Mm. is, you see what you get. What you get. There ain't nothing fake about none of us. Yeah. And that's how we've always been. Mm. We yeah. that we we don't we don't we despise fake people. Mm-hmm. We don't have fake relationships. We don't have people who are nice only to get something. Oh my we don't goodness. have that. We're we're yeah. really all of I have to say that and that's why me and sis get along yes. so well and have been friends and sisters forever because we are real, Very. authentic, genuine, transparent mm-hmm. people. It's not perfect people. Mm-mm. I didn't say that. Did I say no. we was perfect? No. And I mean, we'll but what even, you see is what you get. It is. And we'll even If we have... don't like you, we don't like you. If we love you, then we love you yeah. hard. Right? And it, even, you know, with our friendship and just other people that, you know, we're in contact with, Are the same we keep, way. they're the same way and we keep it real with each other and we keep it authentic. It's not always easy, Mm-mm. but you appreciate that and you can respect that. Right. And it leaves no no room for fakeness on any level. Mm-hmm. Like I said, our relationships with other people are very deep. They because are of, because of it. They because, are because the people that we actually have and praise y'all bring. You know, the Most High has brought into our lives are actually real. Mm-hmm. They're not like you know where you have to worry about them backstabbing you or talking about right. you or fake or wearing a mask. Yeah, they're real. So the relationships are a lot. Um, they last. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, too, it's like even if somebody has money or they have like the latest or whatever, you detect something and you just kind of want to be associated for that reason. It's like, don't do it. Don't do it because it asks yourself, do you want loyal people in your life? Do you want loyalty? Do you... um do you desire loyalty? Do you, uh, is that like a, a priority? You have you know? to be loyal in order to get loyalty. Yes. You see? Yes. And I, I have a story real quick. Mm. We tell stories all the time. Mm-hmm. Y'all know how we do. Yeah. Um, but this will be a brief one. Um, it was a client of mine. Mm-hmm. And while we're talking about fakers, nice only to get something. Mm. And as long as this particular person could get what they actually wanted, they was cool as a cucumber. Wow. But the moment I had to be like, nah, that's not what I'm doing anymore. 
and things have changed. Mm -hmm. You know, the girl is growing. Mm. The girl got a little bit more wisdom. Come on, the girl now. ain't getting taken advantage of anymore. Exactly. I mean, I didn't say all that, but as soon as I had to put in words that unfortunately I cannot do something, mm. oh man, I was I was literally called all kind of different things. Mm. This is supposed to be a, a spiritual person. Wow. You know. A person who, you know, I've known for a long time, not personally, but have done business with. And as long as I was putting mm -hmm. out what they needed, right, and they was getting what they wanted, they was nice to me. Mm. But the moment I had to change things up and say, hey, this is better for me, exactly. there was no conversation of like, well, hey, I understand, even though I'm right. disappointed. It wasn't that. It was an attack. Wow. Why? Because they didn't get what they wanted. They were mm. fake. That's wow. what you call a fake person. A person who's nice only to get something. And it's not just material things. No. It could be to get access to, to somebody you know. Oh my good, yeah. Sometimes it, you're right. Sometimes it has nothing to do with you. It, it could be who you know. Or like some kind of resource that you have, or it reminds me too, I might as well share a short story real quick. Okay. Um, somebody I hadn't heard from in a long, long, long time. <laughs> Don't you love that? <laughs> and, um, <sighs> they were like, hey, stranger, how you doing? And, you know, we, you know, we had uh, extraordinary out and, and doing different things. And Yah, Yah, you know, is the one that's been elevating us and, and just doing what he does in us because we're available and we're vessels. Right. And it's like, where have you been for like two years? Wow. It's like... Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I love you, but I have to love you from a distance. I can't really respond because you're not consistent. And I know things happen in, in people's lives. I'm not talking about that. Right. But the timing in which... It's always when you're coming yes. up. It's always when you're yes. coming up. It's always when you're coming yeah. up, then people start coming back. Yeah. Come up, they come back. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, we just trying to help y'all. Mm -hmm. We, as you can hear, you know, yes. on these podcasts, we've been through a lot. We got a lot of experiences. Mm -hmm. But if don't make no sense if we don't share them to help mm -hmm. somebody else. Exactly. So we're not coming on here bitter or angry or anything. No, not at all. We hope you guys feel the love and feel that we're you know filled with the ruach and we're just really trying to drop some wisdom mm -hmm. because this will help you not bump your head. It'll help you not have associations with certain people. Right. You, Right, because, I mean, honestly, we have a heart for our people. If you have been following us, mm -hmm. it comes out in everything. The music, the, you know, the live streams, yeah. everything. We have a heart for our people. So we, when y'all gives us something, we just want to give the real. Um, so you guys don't have to go through right. unnecessary stuff. Okay, so the fourth thing um, that we're going to talk about are users. You know, you do this, and then I'll do that. Mm. Oh, you did, right, you did this for me, so I'm gonna do this. But, but what why if I do stop you... doing? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, I'm just asking you. Okay, so if I stop doing it, mm -hmm. then you stop doing it. Exactly, right. So do they really have a, these are questions to ask. Do they really have a genuine interest in, you know, <laughs> who you are? Um, <laughs> No, because once you stop doing something for them, they stop doing something for you. Mm, 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 um, so we don't want our people to be set up to be used. It doesn't matter what they have. It doesn't matter the access. It doesn't matter who they know. It doesn't because we have to understand too, these, I, I believe these different characteristics that we're talking about are spirits. And you know that old saying that says, you know, you are who you hang around with. We don't want to become gossipy or somebody that wears masks or, you know, even fakers or users. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure somewhere in life we've all gone through this as we've been trying to find ourselves, but you don't have to claim this. Right. So, you know, just ask yourself, like, do I, do I want these characteristics to jump on me? Because I'm just like, well, they, they only said something a couple of times. That's a trick. Like, 
that kind of stuff can jump on you mm. and damage the person that y'all created you to be. That's so true. And just to give you a little tip so that you don't become a user or become used yeah. by a user, I'll tell you this, know your value. Mm. It may take years to understand what your value is because you're incredible. Mm -hmm. The Most High made us all just really amazing. Yes, he did. And that's why we have to stay in our faith. I mean, mm -hmm. in his face and stay humble and on our faces, I meant to say. Yes. But know your Always. value and that will eliminate people from using you. They may try, but if you already know what your value is, then you eliminate or, you know, running the risk of getting used. Right. And it's so, we say this often, um, and this is one of the things I, that I had to work my way into over the years, is it's okay to say no. That's good, yeah. That's a good test to see how people will treat you. Mm. Um, you know, when you say no, maybe you, you know, you have a family or you have something going on or you're trying to do your own music or it could be anything and you just can't do it. How are people responding to you? You know, pay attention to that. Wow. So, so the fifth one is damagers. And that's, we define these as too much too. They're just too much to have mm. in your life because they do more harm in your life than out of your life. Mm. And sometimes you just, not even really sometimes you guys, just being honest with you, you gotta let those people go mm -hmm. because they'll damage your reputation. Oh they'll damage goodness. your name. They're, they're different from the gossipy. Gossipy people just want attention. Oh yeah. Damagers will literally go out of their way to mm -hmm. tarnish your legacy, your name, and everything you've stood for, yes. even if they have to do it lying. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've gone through situations like this when I first got into the truth, and mm -hmm. there was a particular person that was going around saying all kind of things. Oh my goodness. And then when it came out, like, I'm not even gonna say what happened to this person, mm -hmm. but, Everything, the, the most high vindicates when he wants to. Oh, it took almost man. two years. Wow. And that was a lot of hurt and pain, but I was vindicated from it. Hallelujah. People, people saw that particular person for mm -hmm. everything he was trying to say that I was. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so Great it's job. like, yeah, I didn't even have to fight that battle, even though it hurt. Because, you mm -hmm. know, you come into this awakening and not everybody is cracked up to be what they say they are. And a lot, of, a lot of times you don't know that when you're first coming into it, mm -hmm. right? But the damagers that will slander your name behind your back mm -hmm. do more harm in your life than out. So those are the kind of people, if you find people like that and you hear something and somebody, because thankfully somebody came and told me they were good friends at the time. Mm. And, and they came and asked and said, well, this is what I heard from this particular person. Mm -hmm. And we just wanted to know, I would have never known that this person was running around town talking mm -hmm. bad about me, right? Mm -hmm. But thankfully they asked and I answered the question. And then years later, I was vindicated mm -hmm. from that mm -hmm. because they, unfortunately that person was exposed. And yeah, and but that's the thing, you know, when you're dealing with a, a child of, of the king, like, you don't want the most high to deal with you. Mm. Because my thing is he he will. Like if you have a call or something on your life and um, maybe you don't fully even know what it is, no, he will, he'll deal with you. And that's the thing, you know, you didn't necessarily do anything, but the most high, because you have a call, he, look at what he did, he vindicated. Um, so, you know, if you know somebody that is damaging you. And here's the thing, it doesn't have to be like hardcore, like even if they have like little signs, like pay attention to those little signs because that could turn into, like you said, you know, a, a tr somebody trying to tarnish your image or whatever, you know, so. I'll say a damager, one of the signs, because you're talking about pay attention to the signs. Mm -hmm. I'll give you one really good sign, and I learned this, this uh, you know, the hard way, but I know mm. it now. The sign you look for if you have a damager around you or in your life is they're very controlling. Mm. It's usually their, their way or the highway. Mm. You have to pay attention to that. If you can't get a word in and if everything is 
their way or the highway. Yeah. And they're trying to kind of control your thinking, control who you are, control, control, control. That is a that's a very slippery slope. Mm. You want to be careful with people like that. And I know you're like, dang, well, you know, who am I going to be able to yeah. kick it with at some point, you know, with mm-hmm. this list? But the most high will give you trustworthy people. Yeah, it's true. And watch out for flattery, too, because I, damagers can be very flattering. That's, just that's to, a sign. Just to, yeah. just to get you into their company, you know, and, you know, unfortunately... Um, I know about that, yeah, personally, but all we can say is he to the side. So flattery and um, uh, control and control. control. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm all grown up. Hey, on my own, and I'm gonna make my own decisions. Hey, nah. how many of y'all remember that? <laughs> Yeah. So keep a hopeful heart, okay? Because as the, this list is, I'm looking gossipy, chameleons, Man. fakers, users, damn. It doesn't mm-hmm. sound very positive, Mm-mm. but if you understand what to look for, your right. life will be more positive because it's you won't so have true. all these headaches and misunderstandings and right. all that stuff. You don't want to. Or the negativity. Yeah. You know, you, you, you eliminate a lot of the negativity. You know, when you look for the signs, you know, Mm -hmm. that doesn't mean going to like inspector gadget mode, like, (laughs) like me. (laughs) (laughs) But um, we just, we really want to help our people, and y'all know how we are. We just come uh, very real and raw. Sissy. You know where that is? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh yeah. <laughs> that used to be my joy back in the day. Oh no. But um, yes. So a couple of more. Uh is a pessimistic person. Too much. Yeah. Judgmental. Negative mm-hmm. and typically very dark. Yeah, and and they don't really look at the optimistic <laughs> side of life. So, um, you know, if, if you're trying to, you know, like say you got a praise one day, or you know, you having a good day, and they're like, yeah, but you know, it's always it's fun. raining outside and this and that, <laughs> oh, and God. it's like run, uh, run, go outside in the rain and run from them if you're around. <laughs> Um, you know, because you got to stay optimistic. It actually is scientifically proven that if you stay optimistic, you'll, you have the chance to live a a little bit longer, you know, just by having a a mental attitude that thinks upward, that praises, that sees the, the, it's not that you're oblivious of the things that are going on around you, but you're like, Hey, we're going to get through it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You can relieve a lot of stress by being optimistic mm-hmm. and not pessimistic. So, like mm-hmm. you're saying, run from, not literally, but right. you definitely don't want to have those people in your life because mm-hmm. they're just too much. Right. You got to stay positive. But the optimistic, you know, those that are more optimistic are people you want in your life. Yeah. People that don't uh, gossip and are trustworthy. That's right. You know, you want in your life. People who are really who they are. Mm -hmm. You want in your life people that are showing signs of being authentic. Like, look, we trying. Nothing's perfect. Right. We don't expect perfect friendships or family relationships or anything like that. Mm -mm. Um, You know, people that don't use you, they are really trying to kind of figure you out. People that won't, you know, damage you. Mm. Or your name or reputation because of, you know, whatever they got going on. Yeah. Yeah. Because they couldn't control your mindset. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this happened, like, we're talking, what, four or five years mm-hmm. ago. But I I still learn, I learned the lesson because right. some people are still going through this today in 2020. Yeah, because it's happened, it's like a repetitive cycle um, if we don't deal with it, honestly, mm. you know, and we don't want that to be a repetitive cycle that's going on in our lives, especially with everything going on in the world. 
and, you know, all the talents and gifts and abilities that Yah has given to his people, mm, mm, we need mm, to be mm. focused on that. And all this stuff will stress you out. So mm. um, we, we really do hope that this is an encouragement, too. Um, so the second to the last one that we actually, have Actually, the last here, one. This actually is the last one. Mm. I'm sorry about that. Um, our holy rollers. So people that have a very religious mindset, religious white tombstone. <laughs> we always like laugh about this, but it's so funny. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you'll say, how are you doing? Oh, I'm blessed and highly favored. Mm -hmm. You know, what you going, uh, you going to go get some lunch or something? Oh no, I'm fasting. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's, it's not that we're making in fun of mm -hmm. those things. It's just that don't overdo. It's like just it's don't overdo much. it. Yeah, because I it's mean, it's like what were you doing before you got like that? Yeah, <laughs> I would, I, let's go back to when you was dancing and shaking your butt in the club, right? You know what I'm saying? Or you know, it's like it's kind of like people yeah. forget how they used to be. But some, you, yeah, it's true. And and the the religious mindset or the religion becomes their mindset. It becomes who they are. That's and scary. And sometimes we can forget who we are because we're a little bit too caught up um, even in what we believe. It can be dangerous. Now, we're not saying we don't need the most high because like we said, we we want to, we, we're constantly in prayer. We stand on our faces. We're trying our best to be humble. But we're just talking about uh, others that go so far to, you know, judge you or look at you, you know, a certain way because apparently you're not measuring up in their eyes. But the sad thing is, Yah, uh, in the scriptures, real quick, he had he dealt with his own, he's been dealing with his own people, the Pharisees, for years. So it's like, we don't want to keep that going. Because no. he, he made, I mean, he made, he made a fool out of them. He, he would constantly be doing things to prove, like, that he's a very spiritual person, but he's not religious. It's not about, you know, keeping the, just about keeping the law and just about what you wear. It's a heart, we always say this, it's, it's a heart thing, y'all. Yeah. If y'all can get our hearts, we're good. Now we may be, you know, come from a religious background and that takes some time to, you know, get out of. So, like, we're not, like Sis said, we're not making fun of it, but we're talking about the people that go the extra mile. I was just reading in Amos about what you're saying. Really? Just Yah dealing with us mm. and our, our ancestors. But, yeah, the Holy Rollers are, I think the re out of this whole list, that might be one of the big, like, one of my top Mm. in the top seven that are just too much. Yeah. And I think the real reason why I can't have that religious mindset around me or in my life, mm -hmm. and I would suggest you not either, is because really it's they're, they're trying to say that their righteousness mm. is the standard instead of Yah's righteousness. Mm. Well, our last time I checked, our righteous our righteousness is as filthy rags. Mm. That's what it says. So that's that's you know when you think about it, if they are kind of gloating in their own righteousness, mm -hmm. like they're blameless before the Most High, mm -hmm. when we know none of us are. Mm -mm. We gotta even Yahusha said, look, ain't nobody good but my father. Exactly. You gotta be checking for him. Don't right. even don't even right. And he was checking for him like oh, all the boy. time. And I'm like, he had no spot or blemish. So how much more should we be checking for him? And the holy rollers typically have um because they think they're actually the standard of Yah's righteousness, mm -hmm. they're put in an authoritative position mm. to then look at you with judgmental eyes. Mm. And that nobody at nobody nobody puts you in that position. Mm. The last time I checked, everybody is on mm -hmm. the same playing field. We're in life. Yeah. We're a part of the human race. Right. And we have oh, we all have different measures. You know, some of us are called to be leaders and teachers and singers and you know, all all kinds of things. He's given us all kinds of gifts, but 
Y'all know what we talking about. I'll give you an example. So today I put out uh, a newsletter. And this is an example of where a holy roller would have took it a whole nother direction. Mm. Okay, I'm a producer, right? So I deal with producers of all walks of life. Right. They're not just in the nation. Some of them are in the church. Some of them are in the assemblies. Some mm -hmm. of them don't believe anything. Mm. Some of them are in the world. Okay, I, I don't know everybody's life, but I know not all of the people that purchase music from me are believers of the same faith as me. Right. But I don't cut them off. But what I did That's awesome. do, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, come on, man, Yahushua sure wouldn't have, wouldn't do that mm -mm. Um, because I've had people change their language mm. and start calling on the name. Mm, come on now. I, I got, we, we don't even, I mean, we ain't got time right now, but we yeah. could maybe talk about yes. how just your example. living example. <laughs> Authentic example. Can make people start asking questions, but mm. if you cut them off too quick, you don't give the most highs, Ruach, an opportunity to work on them. Mm. So, but that's, that. I wanted to just share this real quick because I put out a newsletter today. And it's a spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. And I had to ask myself, you know, because some people won't do that. They won't make spiritual, you know, your own beliefs with business because, you know, they're afraid you're going to lose a client or whatever. But I was like, you know what? In the light of what's going on in this world, I was like, this might be really, really good. So what I did, I just want you to hear how I phrased it because a holy roller couldn't come to this conclusion without feeling guilty that they're not you know, pushing what they believe onto people as you need to have this mm -hmm. mindset. So basically, I just said real quick, I was like, hey, Queen here, I sincerely hope you are doing well and keeping your head up during this time. I understand not everybody subscribes to the same belief systems, and that's completely okay. But I thought for those who are having a tough time with what's going on in the world mm. and just need to relax, get a good night's sleep, or even a morning uplift, I put together eight hours worth mm. of positive chill music with scripture melodies. Right. A great way to relieve stress and strengthen your spiritual side if that's what you're into. Mm -hmm. The playlist is up on my Open Writers YouTube group channel. I call them script meds. I truly hope it helps. Mm. That is a good example in all praises to the most high mm -hmm. of a non-religious person delivering something that's very spiritual. Mm -hmm. So who knows, maybe somebody that has never been to church, an assembly is upset with the Most High for different things that they have had happen in their life. Maybe they click on that link. Well, that you, but then too, yes, that is that is beautiful. That's a beautiful way. And we praise the Most High. We're talking about you right now. That's, you know, I'm in the it's group just an with example. you. Right. But that is a gift to be able to articulate it that way. Um, some people are called to be able to do different things like that, you know? Um, our group, Open Writers, That's um, what we this, do. Is, this is what we do. This is what we've been called to do. Some people are called to the assembly, some people specifically for a specific thing. Right. You know, None wrong that doesn't it. mean that we're not saying that that means that you're religious. Mm -mm. So we, uh, some people are called to go out to the streets. That's true, yeah. Why, maybe they got experience on the streets or something like that, and they're called to go out there. Right. You know what I mean? So we all have, we all have different calls and different ways that the Most High wants to use us. We're just saying, it doesn't have to be in a religious way. And if you have a real relationship with the Most High, Yah, mm -hmm. his Ruach will guide you mm -hmm. outside of the box of yes. religion and have you do things like that mm -hmm. because he knows the hearts better than we do. Right. Yeah. So we don't, we don't, um, we don't necessarily expect for people to respond exactly how we are. We're just right. saying, we're just don't. just walking in our calling. Yeah, we're just saying, you know, just be cautious of anybody who who is acting like they're holier than thou or they're so righteous that you don't have as much significance as they do. Mm, good point. Be 
All right, you guys, so that pretty much wraps everything up. So everything that we talked about today, um, the gossipy uh, person, um, and remember we're talking about when people are too much, the gossipy person, the person that wears many masks, the fakers, the users, the damagers, the pessimists, the holy rollers, um, you know, just pay attention and, you know, heed to the signs and just know that you deserve better than that. Um, so these are all signs that um, we're walking in the flesh and not the spirit. And we're all, including us, just trying to do the best that we can to continue to walk more towards the spirit. So right. that's why we did this podcast. And uh, we hope that it encouraged you. Um, sis did mention, you uh, just mentioned about script meds. We do. Please uh, subscribe to our Open Writers YouTube channel. Uh, the script meds, take one, two, three, and four is up there. Search Open Writers. Um, if that is, you know, something that you're interested in. Right. Um, openwriters7.com for the encouraging music. Um, and we just hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, remember to, I think we mentioned this on our last podcast, that um, we are getting ready to start our live show back up, the Open Writers Show. Yay! Yes, yes. It's going to start <laughs> on August the 1st, and it will be at 8.30 p.m. So yes. every Saturday night at 8.30. Except for the third Wednesday of the week. Yes. And that also goes for our podcast, too, if you didn't know. Right. Yeah, we take that third Wednesday, or not Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesday huh? and Saturday, y'all. Yeah. The yeah. third week of the month, yep. Go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to update you guys. Hope you enjoyed this midweek uplift. Still be uplifted, even though we know this was deep. Um, be uplifted and know that y'all got you and, you know, the best is yet to come. We just got to continue to believe and hold on to the most high, make changes, ad adjustments, tweaks. Yep. It's all a part of growth and, and getting closer to them. And it's hard to make change. Yes, it we, is. And that's why people stay in the same situation, same relationships, same everything. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Yeah. Change is hard, yeah. but it is so worth it. It is. You only got this life. Mm -hmm. And so would you rather have a hard time dealing with people or have a hard time changing so that you can have the right people in your life. Right. You know what I mean? So either it's way, it's going to be hard. Yeah. But you may, you, you might as well make the, the, you can do it, you know, and don't ever feel alone. The Most High has mm. led us this whole way. Yeah. This is, we, it's just been me and my sister and our family. We have a small family mm -hmm. of support and then we have our Ko-Fi supporters. This is just a handful of people, y'all. Right. But they support us big time. And Hallelujah. honestly, the Ruach, HaKodesh, supports us bigger than anyone. Mm -hmm. He just happens to use some people to, to uplift us and to keep us going so that we can put these things out for you. Yes. We got this beautiful testimonial. Oh, my goodness. Today on our Ko-Fi page, ko-fi.com, one of our supporters. Yes. I was like, I think I woke up to that. Mm. And I was just like, that hallelujah. Yeah, I'm like... That was you deep. can't make that kind of stuff up, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, we get we get testimonials like that all the time. Not to brag, but just to show you guys what the Most High really can do when you are trying your best, you know, on a day to day basis to um, walk it out. Walk when you're trying to walk out what you talk, then different things like this happen. So we praise y'all. And that was powerful. Yeah, y'all, I mean, y'all got to understand, man, we we, we chose not to be famous mm. so that we could walk with the most high y'all, mm, mm, mm. right? So we're not mad about it, mm -mm. but that's what we gave up. We gave up the popularity and the money and the, the trips and the status and mm. the affiliations and all that stuff. Mm. Because we can, you know, praise the Most High. He gave us eyes to see what the industry really is. Mm. And we just don't want any part of it. 
But you got to understand, the Most High knows that it was a sacrifice. That's why a lot of people don't do it. They say, man, that's too much. Yeah. You got people that ain't even famous, but they making good money in business that won't even go to the mm -hmm. Most High. Because they like, look, man, this Christian, this Christian money over here. Mm -hmm. There's some Christian money over here. make a lot of money in Christianity, yeah. too. So they ain't finna sit there and give that money up. Mm. But guess what? None of our needs ever go mm -mm. unmet. He, yeah, I mean, he. I think that's just him, you know, trying to encourage us. Yeah, man. Because this is, this really is a, a narrow road. Especially when you have, like, that much talent. Like, you know, black folks, and you're walking this walk. That's why I want to encourage you guys, man. Keep walking this walk because we got something to look forward to after this. Thank you, Father. It's like, who wants to get money and access in the devil's world? I'll wait. Right. Yeah, because you may not be alive the to next week. <laughs> right. Or your nose will be cut mm -hmm. off. So, anywho, man, just keep keep your heads up. Keep the faith, you guys. Yeah. To the end. We got, we got to endure to the end. And y'all will be there right with us. So, yeah, mm -hmm. listen to those script meds if that's what you're into, because it's been helping people since we put it up yesterday. I love them. And it's not just because you're my sister, but I just... I appreciate it, man. The most... Um, I just... It's calming, honestly. It's just so calming. I was listening to two and three, which is kind of kind of more uplift. Up-tempo. Up, up up-tempo, uh-huh. Yeah, I, love I was like, four. hey. I know four is y'all. And one. It's one all and dramatic. <laughs> That's cool, yeah. All right, y'all. Well, we love you guys. Mm -hmm. We love you. Shalom. Um, you know, be encouraged. Uh, August 1st, come back to our channel. We're going to have an amazing show for you. And um, like this. Get that, wait a minute. Like this. If you're on YouTube. Come on now. You, you sitting there listening. Like, come on now. share, comment. Get down in them comments, like we say. <laughs> and, um, you know, if this has been a help to you, you know, share. Or um, if you had an experience, as long as it's in the Ruach or whatever, you can share. Um, or if anything touched you or you just have a, any comment pertaining to this podcast, go ahead and, you know, It comment. really helps us out. Mm -hmm. It really does when you like and you share and you comment. We have yeah. to keep it real. It does. It, it'll, it, it allows our yeah. video to get to more people. It does. When y'all do that. So we appreciate you. And we know that our other... Other people needed too, more of our people. So yeah. So we want to get this word out to as many people as possible. So when you do that and you put your comment down there, you're helping to contribute to that. Bless y'all's hearts. Yep. All right, you guys. Note. Well, we love you. And there's nothing you can do to keep y'all from loving you. Irresistible, Quake really had no idea she about to take the blow.